Well, hello. God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And let me begin by saying happy Thanksgiving. Now, I pray that you're having a wonderful day and your day is probably all but gone by the time you will receive this message. But I'm coming to you today to invite you to join me here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. at 10 a.m. for our big, big Thanksgiving Day service. We have been having a Thanksgiving Day service for years now here at the Upper Room uh, Church of God in Christ. There will be no Thursday night service here. People will be with their families and enjoying Thanksgiving. But we're going to have church uh, because I tell you, it's something a little inconsistent in my mind with canceling service for Thanksgiving. So it's a day set aside to give thanks to the Lord for his goodness, kindness, and tender mercy. The first Thanksgiving had to do with how the Lord blessed all the early settlers to get through a rough winter. And they and the Indians sat down and gave thanks to the God of the Bible. Well, to quote my presiding bishop, I spoke with him today, as a matter of fact, and uh, I said, sir, I would just like to share something that I often hear him say. And I think it is it is profound, even it, in its simplicity, it reveals a tremendous truth, and it has certainly blessed yours truly. Oftentimes, he will stand and say, no matter how things look, no matter how bad things may be, no matter what you're going through, you still have a reason to praise the Lord and to give thanks to God. And I'm saying to you today, no matter, regardless of your situation, regardless to how you may feel, regardless to the pain that you may be going through. Some, uh, your lives are cooking with gas now and everything is going your way, but there are others who are struggling. I want to say whether you're on the top of your mountain or in the valley, you have something to thank God for. And I want you, my friends, to just adjust your mind, adjust your heart, and take on the spirit of thanksgiving and begin to pray Praise the God of the Bible for his bounty, for his goodness, his kindness, and his tender mercy. And if you're going through a season or a time where you're not walking in his goodness, kindness, and tender mercies, which no matter how bad things uh, uh, may be, he's good, kind, and thank God his mercies are tender and true, for if they did not exist, we'd be wiped out. But if you're going through, I want you to know, just keep going. He's going to bring you out. And he's going to fix it for you. And he's going to bless you real good. Psalms 118 and verse 14 says, the Lord is my strength and song. He is become my salvation. God, my friends, is your strength. He's your song and he is your deliverer. So sing about him, sing to him and watch the power of God in the strength of the God of the Bible do marvelous things in your life. Psalms 118 and verse 23 says, this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. What a mighty God we serve. And as a matter of fact, I am going to be preaching tomorrow about a marvelous thing. And I want you to hear it. I want you to join me right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ again at 10 a.m. on Thanksgiving Day, 10 a.m. We're going to be here worshiping and praising and giving thanks to the God of the Bible who has given so much to us. Oh, that I could thank him uh, as I ought to and as I should for all that he has done for me. Oh, that you could. The truth is we can't thank him enough. If every day was Thanksgiving, we wouldn't be able to thank him enough. He's a mighty God. He's our king and he loves us. He died for us. He rose again the third day. He paved the way from earth to heaven. He fixed it where there doesn't have to be any enmity between the God who made us and us. And I thank God for saving me. I thank God for keeping me. I have so much to thank the Lord for. You know, just last Sunday, we celebrated our 45th birthday in the Lord. 
the Lord has kept me saved, kept me born again for 45 years. And I'm looking forward to the 46th year, 47th year, so forth and so on. I'm looking forward to living the rest of my days for the God of the Bible. Now, my friends, I love you. I thank God for you. You're a wonderful audience. You're a wonderful people. You have certainly been good to this preacher. And as we now enter officially uh, the uh, holiday season where we as believers, we celebrate Thanksgiving and we celebrate Christmas. Praise the Lord. And we're not going to be among those people who all of a sudden now are uh are offended at the greeting and the salutation of Merry Christmas. I'm offended that you would say hey, Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, yes, Happy Thanksgiving. And I'm not giving thanks to thanks. I'm not giving thanks to some unknown force or some unknown creature. My thanks is to the God of the Bible, the God and Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave his life for me, who gave his life for you, who loves us so much that he would come and die for us. As big as this universe is, as huge as our galaxy is, as huge as, as, huge as creation is, isn't it amazing that Jesus would come to this tiny planet and die for human beings so that we could be one with the God who made us. I think it is a marvelous thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm in love with Jesus. I praise God for his goodness, his kindness, and his tender mercy. And I want to say to you, as I close today, no matter how bad things may look, no matter how tough the situation may be, no matter what's happening in your life, you have a reason to praise the Lord. You have a right to give him the glory and to give him thanks. You have a right and a reason, reasons to lift your hands and to glorify him because he is good. So join me right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for... Bible study. <laughs> yeah. Bible study and Bible preaching. See, I'm preaching tomorrow, see. And we're going to give God thanks. I'll tell you that right now. We're going to thank him. And then after we have rejoiced uh, spiritually, we're going to go home and, and dine. Hopefully not too much. I think I've been dining too much. And I'm asking God to help me with that, you know. And uh, I pray that uh, God's choice blessings are yours. I love you. In the, in the, with the love of the Lord, and we'll see you right here in the morning at 10 a.m. at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And those who can't be with us uh, in person, join us on our various media outlets, and, uh, and God's going to bless us, and God's going to bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving.